So this problem here is leak code ID 1470, and this is shuffle the array. So given the array nums consisting of two times n elements in the form x1, x2, and then at the midpoint it starts at one y1, y2, uh, return the array in the form x1, y2, x2, y2. So we're kind of like interweaving the first half and the second half of the array. So basically I want to go through this really quick. So Let's try to get the output from this test case, just so that we can better understand what they're even asking. So right off the bat, um, we're given an n, and there are two n elements in here. So we actually want to split this in half. So we always want to split this in half. So it's always going to be an even number of elements, so it could be split evenly, because there are going to be two n elements, so it's always even. We want to interweave these two halves. So the result array is going to be, this is our result array, uh, we want to take the first from here and the first from here and then put them in. So it's going to be 2, 3. Then we want to take the second from the first half and the second from the second half. So it would be 5, 4. And then we want to take the third from the first half and the third from the second half. So it will be 1, 7. And if we look at this, how we derived it, uh, this is actually the uh, output for this test case that we copied. So I just want to explain like what is happening. So how do we do this? So we're going to actually create a result array. And our result array, we know, is going to be length 2 times n. But actually, we can just simply say uh, nums.length, because that's going to be the size of it. So let's do that, and let's return it, because we know we're going to. And what do we want to do? We want to fill this up. So now, I will say one thing. Uh, we are actually using linear space here so we are using for this result although some people don't count the result as extra space but we are using uh, the length of nums uh, amount of space so there is a constant space solution but it involves like 20-bit uh, binary integers and putting one number from one half in the left side and a number yeah it's just it's confusing so I'm just gonna do it this way this is the easiest way to remember and uh, this is how we're gonna do it so basically, what do we want to do? We want to go up to n. And the reason why is because this is half of the array. And at each point, we're going to put two numbers in. So we just have to go up to n. So I'm going to go for int i equals 0, and like so. And then i is less than n. So we're going to loop n times. Basically, we want to fill not only the so at index 0, we, we not only want to fill this 2, but we, wanna, we also want to fill this 3. So basically what we can do to represent that is we can go 2 times i, and at i equals 0, this will just be 0. So this will be the even numbers. So this will be the 2, the 5, and the 1 in this output. So every even number, we want to put the number that's just at i, because we want to go in the order of the first half. So then, now filling the second number, we want to go 2 times i plus 1. So this is going to be every odd number. So at i equals 0, this is going to be 2 times i, which is 0, plus 1, which is 1. And then we want to fill this with the first number in the second half. So see this half right here, the 3, 4, 7. Uh, we want to fill the first one with the 3. So this is going to be that n, which is 3, so n plus i. So basically, this is like saying every even number is going to be the order of the first half and then every odd number is going to be the order of the second half that's kind of like how i describe it and this is just a straightforward way to do it and fill up this rest so let's go ahead and run this and we'll see um we actually oh yeah that's because i'm assigning it to res i hope somebody caught that so we're gonna actually uh we want to we want to get it from nums so this is how we do that, and if we run this, uh, we'll see that we get accepted, and we submit this, and we'll see we have 100% runtime. So talking about time and space complexity, as I said, so we have time and we have space. Space is linear because we are creating extra space for the length of nums, and some people don't count the output array as space, so you could say it's constant, but I, I don't know. There is a way to truly get constant space, is what I'm trying to say. And time is O of n as well, because we are ultimately accessing n elements. So 
yeah, just pretty straightforward. Uh, this is one of the easier ones. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, and thank you for watching as always. I appreciate it.